the, the three places, the two lines in the circle can be intersect where? Yes, the Bolina. The two lines in the circle. On the circle. On the circle. On the circle. Yes. Inside the circle. Inside the circle or? Outside the circle. Outside the circle. Thank you. So it could be on the circle. It could be inside the circle. Or outside the circle. I want anyone to tell me the rules in case for the three cases in front of you now, because it is angle A, B, and C. And here I have A and B. This is C and D. And they are intersect at point E. And the next I have A. B, C, D, and E. What about if I want to calculate measure of angle B? How we will find measure of angle B grade 9? How we will find measure of angle B? Again, how we will find measure of angle B. Yes, Farah? Mahlab? Uh, it will be half the measure of the opposite arc. Thank you. It will be half the measure of the opposite arc. Then in case, if I would say that this angle was 30, so the measure of the arc, it will be how many, Farah? Uh, 60. 60. Thank you. So we said that the inscribed angle equal half the arc which subtended by it. Let's move to the next angle, this angle. And E, it's not the center of the circle. Then the two lines intersect inside the circle. Same student every time they are raising their hands to answer, which means this is only the student which they can solve the question. It is correct? It is correct, grade nine? If two chords intersect, if two chords intersect in the interior of a circle, then the product of the length of the segments of one chord is equal to the product of the length of the segments of the other chord. Then, in case we have two segments intersect like this, you will find that a chord CD intersect with the chord AB at point what? At point E. E. Then, how we will find the length? It will be E A multiply by E B equal E C multiply by E D. Then the product of the length of the segments on one chord is equal to the product of the length of the other chord. Then in case if you have two chords intersect, they intersect where? They intersect at point E. Then if you will multiply EA time EB, it will be equal EC time ED. So this is the first theorem which we are going to study it today. Then again, the product of length of segments of one chord is equal to the product of length of another chord. Then, Thank you. 
if I want to find now, if I will put a sign here, if I will write that this one was four, three, sorry, this one equal three, and this one equal eight, and this is X, and this is four. And I want to find the length of E, D. How we will find the length of E, D, grade nine? E, D or E, C? E, D, uh, sorry, E, C, the value of, yes. Masha'Allah, I have, I'm happy. Yes, Ya Abdullah. Abdullah, yes, you was raising your hand. Yes. Sorry, I forgot to put it down. Sorry? I forgot to put it down. Sorry. Forgot to put it down. You don't know how you can solve this question, Ya Abdullah? You don't know how we can solve this question? You have the rule in front of you. You can't even substitute the value for each one, Ya Abdullah? Who can answer it? Grade nine. I can. Who? Me too. Can I? Yes, Yajana. Go on, Yajana. Uh, it will be um, uh, three uh, multiply eight equal uh, four multiply x. Exactly. E A equal eight multiply by E B equal three equal E C equal X multiply by E D equal four, which means we have twenty four equal four X. And after that we will divide both sides by four. Then the value of X it will be equal. So this is the first theorem. We have it in this uh, lesson that the, the product of two chords, it will be equal, the product the product of the length of the segments of one chord is equal to the product of the length of the segments of the other chord. What is the second theorem in this part? In this case, you see that the two lines intersect where, it's intersect where grade, grade nine, at point, point e. e. At point E, right? Then, next, they will outside the line. Then, product of AE times AD equal AB times AC. This is secant and this is secant. The last theorem, in case we have tangent and secant. So this one is tangent and this one is secant, which means it will intersect a circle at two points. So this is A, this is B, C and D. What is the rule? The rule, it will be AB square AB to the power of 2 equal BC times BD. A, B square. This is in case if you have tangent and secant. Then two secants, it will be, you will stand on A, here, this one A, and then you will say A, E, A, D. The other part equal A, B time A, C. What about if it's a tangent 
and secant. It will be AB square equal BC times BD. And the first one, it was the product of segments of each one equal the product uh, for the first equal the product of segments in the second. Any question about the rule here? Then if you have two secants, it will be A, you will, you, will you will start from this point at the top, the intersection point, then AE, AD equal AB, AC. Tangent with secant, AB square equal BC time BD. Now we will use the rules to answer the questions. Then we have how many cases, grade nine? x plus 2 plus 3 it will be x plus 2 plus 3 yes because we are looking for a c so a c it's a 3 plus x plus 2 which means it will be how many it will be x plus 5 right it will be x plus 5 then a d time a c it will be 3 time x plus 5 what about a b it's how many? X plus one. X plus one. And this is an expression, so we have to keep it in a parentheses. What about AC? It will be how many? X plus one hmm. plus X minus so it will be X. It will be how many? Um, two X. Two X. Two X. Yes, it will be two X. Yes, exactly. Okay, then x plus 1 plus x minus 1, you will cancel negative 1 with positive 1, then x plus x, it will be equal to x. Now we will start to simplify. Okay. How we will simplify grade 9? How we will First, simplify? We'll distribute the 3. Yes, we will distribute the 3 over the parentheses, so it will be 3 x, x plus, plus 15, yes, equal. 2x time x, it will be 3x. No, 2x. 2x. x. 2x squared. Yes. Plus 2x time 1, it will be equal to x. Now we want to simplify. We will transfer oh. the numbers to the opposite side. So we have. 2x squared plus 2x. Which number we will transfer it? Grade 9? The 3x. 3x. It will be negative 3x. And what else? 15. It will be equal negative 15 to change it to make it zero equation. Then 2x squared. minus x minus 15 equal 0. Now it's a quadratic equation and we want to make factorize. So what is the value of x grade 9? How we will make factorize for this question? It will be how many? Hmm. It will be how many? Did you remember how we can make factorize? We can transfer two. If we don't use calculator, we can transfer two to the opposite side. It will be 30. Then x to the power of two minus x minus 30 equal zero. After that, how many time, how many? It will be the difference between them equal negative one. Hmm. Farah, where are you? Yesama, Salma. So this one, it will be six. And the other one, it will be five. The bigger one is negative. The smaller one is positive. Then don't forget that we have at the beginning, we have two. So we will divide by two and divide by two. So the answer in simplest form, it will be x 
minus 3 and 2x plus 5. Then what is the value of x? The value of x will be in the first one, it will be equal 3. And second one, the value of x, it will be equal negative 5 over 2. Okay, then the value of x in this question, it will be x equal 3 and x equal negative 5 over 2. This line is what? Secant or tangent? Tangent. Tangent, tangent yes. So if we want to answer this question, we are going to repeat or to multiply this number by itself two times or to the power of two. Then it will be x times x or x to the power of two. It will be one times four, which means x to the power of two equal four. In this case, x to the power of two, it will give us the value of x positive or negative, but we will refuse the value of x by negative. So it's impossible to find the length of uh, the, the, the tangent by a negative number. Same idea with the next question. This one, it will be what? This one is tangent or tangent? Tangent. 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 We have to repeat this one two times. Seven times seven. It will be equal five times x plus five. Right? Then again, this is tangent, so it will be seven times seven. It will be equal five times five plus x. Then five times five plus x, it will be five x plus 25 equal 49. We will subtract 25 from both sides, then 5x equal 24. We will divide it by 5 for both, then the value of x equal 4.8. Last question here. Th those two are tangent or secant? Secant. Secant. So which rule we can use? We will take part time total, part time total. So the first part is 18. Second part, we will add 18 plus 22. Then 18 plus 22, it will be how many? It will be equal 40. Then 18 times 40. From the other side, 20 and 20 plus x. Then we will distribute 20 over the parentheses. It will be 20 times 20 equal 400. 20 times x, it will be 20x. Now we will subtract 400 from both sides, then 20x equal 320. Divided by 20 for both sides, then the value of x equal 16. What about this question, the last question here? Who can tell me what is the value of x quickly? Who can tell me what is the value of x? Two lines intersect inside the circle. Which rule we can use it here? Two lines intersect inside the circle. Is there anyone calculate it? Yes, Adha? It will be 3x equals 24. 3x equals 24, which means the value of x it will be how many, Adha? Eight. It will be equal 8. Thank you. Then to find the answer for this question, if two lines intersect the circle, then we will find the product of the two segments. Then in our lesson today, we were talking about lengths of chords inside the circle and how we can find the answer by three different cases.